to watch back. Okay, so just to give you a very brief overview, you will have seen um, this in the um, communications that were sent, um, but just to give you a sense of, of what to expect. So um, today's first speaker is Deirdre Madden, who's the Assistive Technology Outreach Coordinator with Access UCC. And she will be talking about the accessibility features in the new um, improved version of Nurturing Bright Futures. And she'll also be walking you through another Canvas course, um, which is called Technology to Make Learning Easier, which um, is really interesting and something that will absolutely be of interest, I think, to you personally. And to your students as well. So day two happens this week on Friday, and that is with Kian Power, who's the UCC Student Budgetary Advisor. Advisor, He will be um, walking you through content that's in um, module five of Nurturing Bright Futures, and that's around student finances, student funds, and making every cent count. Day three then is with Noreen Didi, who's our first year experience coordinator. And Noreen's topic um, will be supporting students in their transition to higher education. And she'll be showcasing content from modules four and modules five. And then on the last day to close this spring series, we'll have um, Adele Coleman, um, from the Graduate Attributes Programme. She's the Graduate Attributes Programme Manager, and that will be um, on Friday, the 8th of April, and all the sessions start at 12.30 and roughly last about 30 minutes. Today's session, because we have two speakers, will just be a little bit longer. Okay, so just to tell you what's new with, with Nurturing Bright Futures. So we're very conscious that, um, you know, we like to, I suppose, seek feedback and we like to act on it. So Nurturing Bright Futures has been in existence now with almost um, a year, actually. And we've had a number of people um, use it and participate on it. And we've got a lot of feedback from course participants, from guidance counsellors, from the Irish Second Level Students Union and from Freuga. And we've acted on that feedback and we have migrated the content onto um, a new interface onto what's called Canvas Catalog. So Canvas is the virtual learning environment here at UCC. Canvas Catalog is essentially the same look and feel, but um, it, it has much more enhanced features. It allows for, um, it's more accessible, it's more intuitive and more user-friendly. And we've changed the, the design and the look and feel of it so that it's a much more navigable layout. So with this new platform, with Canvas Catalog, there is a short registration required. So here to four, it was a case of, you know, get the link and you were straight in. Now there's just a short registration required. It's a two step process. I'll be you know, sharing some screen grabs with you now so that you can see exactly what's involved. And it's a case of um, two short emails and you're in. There's also a short survey at the start. So I suppose it's important to us to know who our audience is. Um, that was part of the reason why we migrated over to Canvas Catalog because we didn't really have any data analytics to act on. So we couldn't really tell bar getting information anecdotally whether we were getting a lot of hits from, you know, Cork or from maybe up the country, or was it mostly guidance counselors? Was it mostly TYs or leaving sites, et cetera? So it's a short survey with just nine short questions that will give us, I suppose, data and insights as to how Nurturing Bright Futures is performing. And we're absolutely, um, you know, very keen to share those insights with you as well, um, you know, if they would be of interest to you. We will send separate um, communications with a slide deck to walk you through the, the registration process. It, it's very straightforward, but just so you have that to kind of walk um, yourselves through and walk your classes through as well. And the link is still www.ucc.ie forward slash NBF. So when you click on that link now, and Siobhan, you can move on it. That's okay, thanks. It will bring you to this registration page, okay? So when you arrive here, you will need to click on the blue button, which is enroll. So it's, you can see there, it says zero euros. So it's completely free um, as it was before, but um, some of the courses on Canvas Catalog do have um, cost costs attached to them. That's why this button, I suppose, kind of indicates that it's, it's free, it's, it's zero euros. So if you click there, um, it will bring you to this page. 
So on the left, you can see that it's asking you to create an account. Now, you won't have an account already because you're not registered in Canvas. Um, so on the right hand side of the screen, you can see I've just put in um, dummy details. So just your full name, your email address to confirm the email, you just sign up to the access acceptable use policy and the privacy policy, indicate that you're no, not a robot, and then you register a new account. When you do that, it will send an email to whatever email address you've provided on that last page, okay? And it's important that you actually look out for the emails because unless you receive two emails and follow the instructions in the emails, you won't complete your registration properly. So this is the text that you will receive. If you click on complete registration, it will bring you to this screen. And there you just click enroll. And then it will generate the second email. Um, and then you just click on access your dashboard and that will bring you then to the new um, homepage, the new landing page. And this is a much more, I suppose, intuitive layout. Hopefully everyone can see that if it's large enough, but there are now 12 tiles. So the get started tile on the top left hand corner is basically the the first starting point. And when you click there, it will bring you to the registration, to the, the short um, questionnaire that I was talking about. Everyone will need to pass through that tile. So in order to access the content in modules one, modules two, three, four, five, and six. And you'll also need to complete the registration in order to access get in the zone. So get in the zone is um, includes content around um, it's I suppose a short introduction to nurturing bright futures, also on goal setting on the um, the value and power of of actually reflective practice. Get resources then has content such as the nurturing bright futures organizer, the nurturing bright futures workbook, which you will have got a physical copy of in the post and other resources that are very handy for you and your students to download and use as you go through the content in Nurturing Bright Futures. Essentially then the actual meat of Nurturing Bright Futures is contained in modules one to six. Today we're focusing on, um, and in this series we'll be focusing on content from modules four to six and the autumn series focused on modules one to three. Then you'll see on the bottom left hand corner, there's a tile for guidance counselors, parents and guardians. Um, and that is where there's bespoke content for yourselves. There's also um, a tile for giving feedback and then a closing module and a certificate of completion that anyone who undergoes Nurturing Bright Futures, it's a self-serve model that you'll be able to generate a certificate of completion. And, and we just move along to the next slide there. So this tile, um, which is um, the get started. So essentially this is the registration form, nine short questions, and that then unlocks access to all the modules. And if we move along again, um, Siobhan, and this is the tile for guidance counselors. So you can see the, you'll be able to download a copy of the Nurturing Bright Futures guide, which most of you should have a physical copy of as well. There's also a link to other Canvas courses that have been designed by staff in UCC. So Brain Power, which has been designed by Dr. Ethna Hunt, by Professor Yvonne Nolan, and by Dr. Samantha Dockery. And that's um, a, a really interesting free um, course that is available for you to, to undertake as well. And you can get a digital badge by doing it. And also um, the technology to make learning easier, which is the course that Deirdre is going to um, delve into a little bit more today. So that's all that I have to say. I don't know if there are any questions around the, the new registration process, um, but if anyone has any questions, I'd welcome them at this stage, or you can pop us an email to discoverucc at ucc.ie if you have any issues accessing the content or if you have any questions about the new layout or anything to do with uh, Nurturing Bright Futures. So if anyone has any questions, by all means, you can pop details in the chat or you can unmute yourself now and ask the question. And we will be sending separate comms just to kind of walk you through that process again. Okay. It looks like there isn't like there isn't any questions. So without further ado, we'll hand over to Deirdre Madden, who's our speaker for today. 
And Deirdre, That's if you'd amazing. like to share your slides there. Thank you. Remembering to um, remembering to mute or unmute myself was my first step. And I'm just going to share my screen if um, perfect. Great stuff. So. And. Pull up the right one. There we go. So I was practicing earlier on and I got caught there I, as my share is my screen sharing. Yeah. It is, Deirdre, yeah. Excellent. So my name is Deirdre Madden. Thanks a million for this opportunity, Carol. Only delighted to be working with um, the Nurturing Bright Futures in parallel with the Nurturing Bright Futures programme. My name is Deirdre Madden and I work with the, with the Disability Support Service, which is part of Access UCC. <clears throat> and in UCC, we want to ensure that students who traditionally were unlikely university students get a chance if they have the ability and the desire to go that there are other factors like disability like social background shouldn't be the things that hold them back so our access office is combined of a lot of different people we've got access plus that provides links to underrepresented schools so support students with from social or economic disadvantage i work with the disability support service we have an autism friendly university um initiative, including helping students with autism to transition to college. We have a mature students office that supports those coming back to learning after some time as, as, as mature learners. We have a traveler mentoring program to support uh, learners from the traveler community who want to transition to university. There's our financial supports that Kian will be speaking about on Friday. We have an employability program that is about supporting students with disabilities as they come out the other end of their degree towards um, graduation, engaging with employers and, and pursuing employment. Um, and we support students from further education colleges and with FETAC qualifications and QQI qualifications. So that's a, you can see that's a broad mix. And as part of that access UCC, we wanted to work in partnership with the Graduate Attributes, Pro Attributes Programme, which has a wealth of resources. And I speak as a mammy whose kid had a look at it recently. Um, there is a lot to work through. And we, we wanted to show how you can use some of the technology built into Canvas Catalog to make that easier. Um, if you're somebody like me with dyslexia, the reading isn't really the best thing for me. So um, built into Canvas is a tool called Immersive Reader. It will read all of the content allowed to me and it's available on all of the pages in the Canvas course in our, in our um, Nurturing Bright Futures course. It has other tools as well as read aloud tools to make using that resource easier. It will translate all of the text on it to other languages, German, Italian, French, Ukrainian, and it'll even translate it to Irish and read it aloud in Irish, and we'll demonstrate that in a second. Now, my role with the Access Office is using technology to make learning easier, and I want to let you know that that immersive reader tool is not exclusive to the Nurturing Bright Futures course. It's also available in Office 365, so if you've used Teams in your school, if you've used Microsoft Word in your school, you have this already, and we'll explore that later on. So we're just going to have a look we're going to I've got this on a link now is this sharing properly there guys we've got the module four up yeah it is yeah super it so my favorite thing to engage with a lot of the time is the videos I love the the audio visual material but there's wonderful stuff in the text too and for somebody like me and I see lots of text to read with dyslexia or just at the end of an evening when a person is tired and could I sit back and have it read to me Immersive Reader is built into Office or is built into our Nurturing Bright Futures program. So right up at the top on the right hand side, you can see there's an Immersive Reader button just here. When I click on Immersive Reader and activate these tools, the first thing it does is it gets rid of a lot of the extraneous information that's on the screen. And you can see down at the bottom here, there's a play button and I can click wherever I want it to read from. We'll come back to the pictures in a second. Sorry, no, I just realized as you can't hear that sound properly, I'm guessing. So I'm going to reshare that. Apologies, guys. I was I'm going to reshare it and share it with the sound in the in the capture. Apologies, share, and I want to share from this screen and share the sound so that you can hear that properly. Sorry, no. Guys, what's on your screen now? 
we, we can see the immersive reader. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. OK, so when I click on I'm going to click and I'm click on the getting ready where I want to make to read the from. transition can you hear to that, university. Guys? We can. One of the Excellent. toughest Great tasks stuff. for freshers is to and get to grips with the way university the word as differs it's being from read school. And it's scrolling down through it. You can go into the settings button where you can speed up or slow down the reading and you can change to a male or a female voice. So let's see what that sounds like. University requires a shift in mindset and in your engagement and social interaction with others. It also requires you to develop self-directed learning skills change and the ability to, the to be able to think voice. critically and independently. Like everything in life, preparation is key and the more you prepare, the easier this transition will be. So you can sit back and have anything on the Nurturing Bright Futures program read aloud to you. So just to show you how to come out, we click out here to come back and where you find it is in the top right hand corner of each of the modules, each of the pages in the Nurturing Bright Futures course, simply click on Immersive Reader and you come back to a text, a text clear um, version and you can have it read from any section of that. You can begin the reading from there. This module will introduce you to self. Now, there are three tools up in the top right hand corner here, three sets of tools. There's our text preferences and in here, I can make the text smaller or bigger, depending on how tired my eyes are at the end of the day. With um, my reading, I like to have the spaces between the lines enhanced, so I increase that spacing, but it's up to the student. And in here, you can change the fonts to something that might be easier on your eyes or on a particular student's eyes. And you can even change the color scheme of the text. So sometimes black on white is hard on the eyes. Some people might prefer to read with a yellow background. You can change the color themes to whatever is comfortable for your eyes. And the idea that the student goes through that creating the account that Carol just talked us through, it means each student can have it tailored to their own needs. It'll remember it the next time that they, they access the account. So those are our text preferences. Then we have our grammar options. That looks like lines of text with the wand going through it. And the first tool in here is it will break words into syllables. So look at words here like critically or independently. And when I turn on the syllable tools, of course it moves it. You can see how it breaks it up into its component parts. It's breaking up university into its component parts. This is a lovely just reading support tool for a whole variety of options. And when I click on the word, so I, societies. I can have it read aloud to me and have the visual and the audio together. I'll turn that off for now. I can also have all of my nouns highlighted in one color, my verbs highlighted in another, adjectives and even adverbs. And if that, that color doesn't stand out well against the background, you can always change it to a different color and you can even have it labeled. No, I absolutely can't even look at that screen. It's just demonstrating the maximum of what it can offer. But you may be focusing simply on, on verbs, depending on what, what you're using this tool for. The last set of tools is the reading preferences in here. And it allows me to, the first tool allows me to focus on a single line. And I can scroll up or scroll down if my eyes are tired at the end of the day. And I can also have the audio and the visual work with one another. In this module, we outline a few key steps to help you prepare to successfully navigate the transition to university life. And you can have it focus on a single line, three lines, or five lines. So that's our line focus tool. I turn that off just to demonstrate some other tools. My favorite tool, but it says more about me than anybody else, I think, is the picture dictionary. I make sure that that is turned on, and you may have noticed it earlier on, that when I click on a word, I will have an image to help me understand that word. Um, let's see, managing, tidy. And it can be helpful if we have students perhaps who don't have English as a second language or maybe students who struggle a little bit with, with um, literacy. Um, it can be just an, a nice support. So that's our picture dictionary. And lastly, we have the translation tool and it will translate all of the text into any of these languages. Um, so you can see there's a wealth of them in there. Let's just do French first, and it can do single words where I'm going to just, um, I'm going to. Money, money. And it'll read Argent. it in French. So it's doing individual words. 
let's see, just trying to find the handy one here. And we have the English. University. The French. Universitaire. And an image to help me understand it. One of the handiest tools is it will translate the entire document to French and you can have it read. Just text. Ensemble, group. nous vous aiderons à planifier les choses à faire avant d'entrer à l'université. And it will read the whole lot of it. Now, it's not a perfect translation because it won't get the nuances of language that people do. It's still an algorithm, but it's not bad. And impressively, and I understand we may have some Gwale skulls, uh, Gwale Kalashtas joining us today, it will translate it into Irish. So let's just hear, hear how that sounds. Could Zoe Shaylap freshen Achfany Ahens of Stolling Let Low, Concoriot the All? Moss a cook the route. So it'll read the entire thing in Irish. And to come back out of the immersive reader function, you simply tap on the back button up here. So it's just a tool to make accessing all of the wonderful resources in the Nurturing Bright Future programs that little bit easier. So I'm just going to pull back up here. So Immersive, to use Immersive Reader, we clicked on Immersive Reader in the top right hand corner. We clicked on play to have it read to us. We can adjust the speed and adjust the voice. And then there are the various tools up in the top right hand corner. There's our text preferences, our grammar options and our reading preferences. And in the text preferences, we can play around with the size, the spacing, the font and the color. Because goodness knows we're spending a long time at the screen. Let's make it as comfortable and use, as user friendly as possible. And the grammar options, this one, it'll break up into break words into syllables and allow you to highlight the various parts of speech in chosen colors. And in our reading preferences, we were able to use the line focus, the picture dictionary, and the translation tool, including having it read aloud. And incidentally, it will translate it to Ukrainian and read it aloud in Ukrainian also. Now, immersive reader is in Canvas in our Nurturing Bright Futures program, but it's available in Office 365 and in Edge too. And we have created a course on technology to make learning easier, to create videos to show people how to use those. So I'm just going to show you that and I'm going to pop it, the link to that into the chat. And the link didn't quite transfer over, I think. So we'll just put it in as a, kind of a naked link there as well. So this video will make is showing you how to use Immersive Reader. If you have Office 365, if you've got Microsoft Word, you can use all of those tools, the translating tools, the read aloud tools. And there's a video in here showing you how to use it. And it is part of the a much broader course on technology to make learning easier. And built into that is links to download free software and videos showing you how to use it or to use your features. So I don't know if anybody on the call uses an Android phone. Um, and I use a lovely free app on the Android phone and it's called Live Transcribe. And I don't know if you can see on the screen that this is typing what I'm saying as I'm saying it. But if we go into, scroll down into your this is the technology to make learning easier course that is signposted from Nurturing Bright Futures. There are various tools in here that are free or built in to make reading easier, to make writing easier and to make studying easier, including free mind mapping software, free software that will read aloud, free software that will allow you to point the camera at text and it will read it aloud for you. Um, and there's information to support students to develop their basic IT skills like touch typing, like file management, and for teachers to support you to share your wonderful teaching and learning materials um, electronically. So just to come back here and I'm almost there. So that was the, wait, there's more because there's lots more free stuff in there. It's our technology to make learning easier course. It's a free course, a resource for teachers, students, parents. It is aimed at TY students. So I mentioned in the videos, I mentioned um, junior cert and leaving cert a lot, but it is being used in primary schools. It is being used in a lot of different settings. It's up to you how you use the resource. It is signed pasted, posted rather, from the various sections in the Nurturing Bright Future programs, like the um, section four, section for the guidance counselors and teachers. 
It covers free or built-in software on phones or tablets, whether you're an Android user or an iPhone or an iPad user, in Office 365, in Google, or just stuff that's free to download to make the reading, the writing, and the studying easier. And some people think, oh, if it's free, it can't be that useful. I promise you faithfully it is, both personally and professionally, it's really powerful. And it's broken up into sections on making reading easier, making writing easier, making studying easier whether you use a, a laptop, a phone, an Android tablet, uh, an iPad, or whether you're a Google or an Office 365 user. And it focuses also on those fundamental IT skills that are not in the curriculum. And goodness knows we've seen recently the need for them. Um, so this is what the resources look like. And the link is in the chat. And I believe it'll be emailed out to you as well. Take full advantage, advantage of it. And there's a lot there but you can play around with it one bit at a time. But we also are providing training for this, for teachers to get to grips with this um, through the Cork Education Support Centre. It's a two hours, it's a two, two hour session. And the cost of it is a grand total of five euros. Um, but book the training and do book the training, especially if you can commit to the two weeks and take full advantage of it. I'll stop there and we can see if there are any questions. I've just overwhelmed everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Deirdre. Um, we might actually stop recording now just in case people would like to ask a question and sure. might feel comfortable um, having it recorded. So if we just stop the recording and um, if anyone has a question, if they'd like to pop it into the chat or if you'd like to unmute and leave your camera on or off and ask the question, we'd be delighted to hear it. Or if you have any comments or observations. Just to say, Deirdre, as you're the host now, you'll have to stop the recording. Oh, okay, okay. Do it from my side anymore. <laughs> okay, well, I'll stop the share and I'll figure out how to stop the recording. Or yes, perfect. Yeah. No, we're grand. I've stopped the recording there. Yeah. So the